Say you've got a parabola and a line. How do you determine where they intersect? Let me show you. So we're looking at this parabola here. Looks like that. And this line here looks like that. And we're given that they intersect at x equals negative 1. So right about here. But we can see that they also intersect here. So how do we find that second x value where they intersect? Well, first thing we do is set the parabola equal to the line. And let's do that. So negative 4 plus 1 over 3, x plus 1. And then we can simplify a bit. Let's say x squared minus x minus 6 equals minus 4. Distribute the 1 third. So 1 third x plus 1 third. Multiply everything by 3 to get rid of those fractions. We'll get 3x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals what? Negative 12 plus x plus 1. Okay, now we'll get everything over to one side. We have 3x squared minus 4x, let's see, negative 18 plus 11 is negative 7 equals 0. So now we use the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And here, a equals 3, b equals what? Negative 4, and c equals negative 7. So we just plug those values in. We get x equals, let's see, 4 plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac, so b squared is 16, um, a times c is negative 21, times 4 is, so 84, since it's subtracting, okay, all over 2a, which is 6, okay, we have, so x equals 4 plus or minus square root of 100, which is 10, 10 over 6. So, let's see, negative 6 over 6 is negative 1, and we have that one already, that's this one up here. And then, let's see, 14 over 6 is 7 over 3. So there it is, so that is where they intersect, where x equals 7 over 3. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.